In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To do. Through my fault, through, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore, therefore I, ask I ask Blessed, blessed Mary, Mary Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by your gift, your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service. Grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. A great king am I, says the Lord of hosts, and my name will be feared among the nations. And now, O priest, this commandment is for you if you do not listen, if you do not lay it to your heart to give glory to my name, says the Lord of hosts. I will send a curse upon you, and your blessing I will make a curse. You have turned aside from the way and have caused many to falter by your instruction. You have made void the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. I therefore have made you contemptible and base before all the people, since you do not keep my ways, but show partiality in your decisions. Have we not all the one Father? Has not the one God created us? Why then we break faith with one another, violating the covenant of our fathers? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child, like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we are gentle among you. As a nursing mother cares for their children with such affection for you, we were determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our every selves as well. So dearly beloved, had you become to us, you recall brothers and sisters, our toil and drudgery, working, working night and day in order not to burden any of you, we proclaim to you the gospel of God. And for this reason, we give thanks to God unceasingly that in receiving the word of God from hearing us, you receive not a human word, but as it is, the word of God, which now at work in you who believe, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Lord be 
with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you O Lord. Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on the people's shoulders. But they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at, at banquets, seats of honor in the synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Hayaan niyo pong simulan ko ang aking pagbabahagi sa isang kwento na, na aking nabasa. Misan daw po ay nagtanong ang isang anak sa kanyang tatay. Sabi ng anak, Tatay, ano po ba ang pagkakaiba ng confident sa confidential? Sumagot ang kanyang tatay. Ganito yan, anak. Anak kita, confident ako doon. Pero yung kalaro mong si Tikboy, anak ko rin. Confidential iyon. Minamahal na mga kapatid, brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, we have heard that Jesus accused the religious leaders of Jerusalem of laying heavy burdens on the people by imposing more and more rules on them. In Matthew 23, verse 4 po. They tie up heavy burdens, hard to carry, and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. No? Ang mga parise, yung ito, mga eskriba, sila ay Nag-iipon okay, ng, ng maraming <laughs> mabibigat na dalahin, pinapapasan sa, sa, sa mga tao, pero ni ang daliri nila ay hindi uh, may galaw para tumulong. Ito po yung uh, sinabi ng ating Panginoon sa mga ito. Pero hindi po ba kung ating pagbabalikan ay ginawa din ito ng ating Panginoon? Hindi po ba siya na rin nagsabi, sa Matthew 11, verse 28 po to 29, sabi doon, Come to me, all, who, all you who labor and have been burdened, and I will refresh you. Take my yoke, sabi ng Panginoon, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you shall find rest on your souls. No? Hindi po baga yung yoke, yung pamatok, is virgin as well. Pero ano po ang pagkakaiba? Ano? Ano kayo yung pagkakaiba? The way the Pharisees and the scribes thought ang pagkakaiba sa ating Panginoon. Ano? The burden that Jesus talked about was completely different from the burden imposed by the Jerusalem's religious leaders. Ano po ang pagkakaiba? Ayon po sa isang writer. Una, The burden imposed by the scribes and the Pharisees devalued the word of God 
Bakit po? Ito po ay binubuo ng, ng mga kautusan, no? ng pag-aayuno, ng pagbibigay ng ika po, na hindi naman matatagpuan sa mga kautusan ni Moises o sa batas ni Moises. Totoo po, sila ay na, nakalikha ng 613 na mga kautusan and some of them contradicted the will of God for His chosen people. Kaya nga po, instead na papalapit ang mga tao, lalo silang napapalayo sa Diyos. Ito yung pagkakaiba sa ating Panginoon. The yoke of Jesus is meant to help us fulfill the word of God. In Matthew 5, verse 17, sabi ng Panginoon, Do not think that I have come to loosen the law or the prophets. I have not come to loosen, but to fulfill. Kaya ang pamatok ng ating Panginoon ay nag-aanyaya po sa atin. Ano? Pamatok ng, ng pagmamahal. Mahalin ang Diyos na higit sa lahat at ang ating kapwa katulad ng ating sarili. Ano? The, the, the yoke of Jesus helps, uh, helps us to fulfill God's word. Pangalawa, Jesus said that the scribes and the Pharisees placed burden on people but they did not lift a finger to help them. No? At ginamit ni Jesus yung pamatok upang ilarawan ang, ang kanyang pasanin. No? Ang pamatok po ay isang instrumento yung nilalagay na sa, sa, sa batok ng isang ng, ng mga hayop. Ano? At uh, ito po ay nag-uugnay sa dalawang hayop upang sila ay magtulungan na pasanin o dalahin ang isang dalahin. Kaya nga po, ang pagkakaiba ng mga religious leaders sa ating Panginoong Isos, Jesus wants to yoke Himself to us that He can walk beside us and help to enlighten our burden. Hindi ipapapasan ni Jesus ang mabibigat na dalahin sa atin kung di natin kaya. Kaya natin. At katulong natin siya. Katuwang natin siya. Hindi tayo nag-iisa. Kasama natin ang ating Panginoon. Yun nga lamang po siguro. Kaya kung bumibigat kong minsan, ay sinasolo natin. No? Nagiging minsan, ma-pride tayo. Kaya ko ito. Hindi ko kailangan ng tulong ng iba. Hindi ko kaya. Hindi ko kailangan ng tulong ng, ng Diyos. And number three, panghuli po. Kung ang burden ay na pinapapasa ng mga religious leaders ng Jerusalem ay pawang mga batas o gawa ng tao lamang, mga dagdag na pag-aayuno at pagbibigay ng ika po, na hindi nagpapalapit bagkos ay naglalayo sa Diyos. Ang uh, kabaliktaran po nito naman ay yung pangyayari when we accept the yoke of Jesus. And we come, when we accept the yoke of Jesus, we come into a profound relationship with Him. And that relationship gives us joy and comfort of His own Spirit. Iba yung pakiramdam na alam natin, dama natin, nakasama natin ang ating Panginoon. Kaya minamahal ng mga kapatid, ito po yung pagkakaiba ng pasanin na ibinibigay ng mga iskriba at mga periseyo sa pasaning ibinibigay ng ating Panginoong Isus. Malaki po ang pagkakaiba, no? Jesus' yoke bring us closer to God and we are not alone carrying the burden. Jesus is always there to help us. Kaya mga minamahal ako, batid, wala pala tayong dapat ikatakot. Wala pala tayo dapat ipagkabahala na kahit gaano pa kabigat ang ating dalahin, mga pasanin sa buhay, no? Eh kung kasama natin ng Diyos, walang hindi tayo makakaya. So let us come to Jesus. Let us yoke Himself to us in a band of love. And let us thank Him that our burden is light. Amen. Please all stand. We profess our faith. I believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Creator, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, Son, our Lord, 
who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Today's readings remind our leaders to be humble and faithful to their duties. They are also an indirect reminder to us to pray for them so that they may live up to God's expectations and ours. So let us remember this as we say together, Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. For the entire community of the baptized, we may keep following the Christian way of life even when some leaders disappoint us with their behaviors. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father Francis and the other leaders of the church, may may they continue to be inspiration to all the believers and even the non-believers through their teaching and good example. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Jesus hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all parents, religion teachers, catechists, and community leaders, may they be the first to practice the good qualities they teach to their children, students, and members. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Jesus, hear our prayer. For those who incline to seek privilege and marks of honor, may their first concern always be the greater good of the people entrusted to their care and not to their personal advantage. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. For our parish community, may we all be one heart and one soul with the spiritual leaders and thereby become the living of the society, civil society. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our own intentions. Lord Jesus, our divine leader, guide and protect our leaders from any form of selfishness and pride. Guide them and us to the, attain, to the attainment of the lasting reward in the kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection boxes. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacrificial offering, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even passion for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus, chorus of exalt, exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy. Able to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. O oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The second collection, which will be done, 
is for the continuing development of the Paris and National Shrine of St. Father Pio. Thank you for your offering. Let us all stand. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, holy monk from Pietralcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as, as we are, are we, we pray, pray that, that we you concede, bless and grace us, that our, our lives may be fulfilled, fulfilled. From, from sin may we abstain, in God, God may we remain, we also, we also beseech thee, thee servant, servant of the, the most holy, to instruct us in the gospel, that we may reflect and believe our requests are before thee, 
our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father together with the Spirit and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansan dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at mayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, nakahanda na po sa bandang unahan ng main church ang paglalagyan ng mga sobring may pangalan ng inyong mahal na yung mao. Sila ay ating ipagnunobena simula nung isa hanggang ikasyam ng Nobyembre at buong buwan nating ipagdadasal ang kapayapaan ng kanilang kaluluwa. Makipag-ugnayang lamang po kayo sa ating mga tagapaglingkod. Ikatlo, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi na inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Book na makikita sa paligid ng Divine Mercy Sanctuary, sa main church, sa main store at ipapanlugar dito sa Pambansan Dambana. Ito po ay bilang bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng datos at turismong pangsimbahan. Ikaapat, isang panawagan din sa ating mga kapit. Seminaryo Mayor ni San Francisco de Sales ay matatagpuan sa barangay Marawoy, Lipa City. Ito ay isang bahay formasyon ng mga kabataang lalaki na tumutugon sa panawagan ng Diyos sa buhay pagpapari. Sa paglipas ng panahon, ang seminaryo ay dumaan sa maraming pagsubok at pangangailangan, sa biyaya ng Diyos at sa suporta ng mga taong may mabubuting kalooban, ang seminaryo ay nakapagpatuloy sa paghuhubog ng mga kabataang lalaki magpahanggang sa kasalukuyan. Sa kabila ng lahat ng ito, nagpapatuloy pa rin ang adhikain ng seminaryo na matugunan ang mga pangangailangan ng mga seminarista sa maraming aspeto. Hindi iniaalis ng seminaryo ang paghingi ng tulong sapagkat hindi rin tumitigil ng pagpapadala ang Diyos ng mga taong may mabubuting kalooban. Sa diwang ito, nananabik ang aming puso na tanggapin ng bukas palad anumang tulong na inyong maipagkakaloob para sa seminaryo at para sa mga hinuhubog sa buhay pagpapari. Ang isang palad na marunong magkaloob at magbigay ay isa na rin pusong nag-aalay. Hindi man po namin kayo nakikilala, ngunit ang Diyos na bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala ang bahalang magbalik ng inyong kabutihan na ibinigay para sa aming kapakanan. Maraming salamat po. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos, amang makapangyarihan, upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at bihaya. Ibuus mo ang iyong bindisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin. Mga rosaryo, imahin, dasalan na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat ng dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong matularan nila ang mga banal at ang aral ng Panginoon ng mga, ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin at huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Awaginong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen.
Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin at huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, panalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara ng una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan, Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, Kapara nung una ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Kapayapaan kailanman ang igawad ng may kapal sa mga yumao nating mahal. Sila nawa ay silaya, ay silaya ng ilaw, ilaw na walang hanggan. hanggan. Ama namin, suma sa langit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loong mo dit sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin at huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kapara noong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.